going to do a little short video today. I'm going to talk about this, these foods and how they keep you addicted. I keep beating a dead horse, but that's what we have to do. And this, they did a very nice job, just a little news report on the, the addiction problem in the United States and exactly what they're doing. And they're going to talk about how many people are overweight. They're going to talk about uh, marketing. It's going to be three and a half minutes, but they do a very nice job. I'm going to give you some comments on that. I want to let everybody know to, to subscribe. We need some subscribers. Um, that's a good thing. Um, I noticed that a lot of you like that autopsy of that overweight woman. You guys are, you guys are showing that around, which is very good. I like that. Hopefully it's it's hitting home that um, <laughs> there's a lot of overweight people and it, it should open up your eyes. You, your loved ones or anybody is overweight. Well, that's what's going to happen. But that's a nice little video. And hopefully it, I've helped some people open up their eyes to what is really going on here. So we're going to run this video. And again, they're going to be talking about obesity again in this country. And I'm going to comment on some things and because um, we really got to get our act together. This is absolutely ridiculous what's happening and and i'm going to continue con we're, we're all going to continue to try to help as many people as we can try to get this weight off uh, unfortunately the weight loss industry is very very expensive when we come up with a program that it's not expensive we can help people get this weight off fast and safe fast easy and safe so let's run this video and i'll be right back What makes the U.S. one of the most overweight nation among developed countries? Well, food activists say it's all about addiction, maintained by a subtle system of technological and marketing tricks by food corporations. Marina Podnaya looks into what's feeding America's food habit. It's the richest country on earth where banks can't fail and waistlines can't stop expanding. Waistlines in America are growing. An alarming new study showing half of all Americans could be obese in less than 20 years. Sugary drinks and wider waistlines go hand in hand. With one out of every three adults clinically obese and 40% of children officially overweight, experts say food has become a drug engineered cooked and marketed by an industry banking on addiction. What these food scientists have done is they've gone into a lab and they've created these chemical concoctions that are very sweet, very fatty and very salty and they call it a bliss point. Scientists and food industry whistleblowers say big food companies engineer processed foods and beverages with ingredients that pique the taste buds while tricking the brain to think you're still hungry, causing you to eat more. But in a country where diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure and heart disease are becoming all too common among millions of children and adolescents, why don't food corporations create healthier recipes? In one word, I would say greed. Uh, we obviously are putting money above public health. Another major profit generating ingredient for big food is marketing. In the U.S., there's virtually no regulation of food and drink advertising, even when it targets children. Last year, entertainer Beyonce inked a $50 million endorsement deal with Pepsi. This came as the American Heart Association released a report finding that 25,000 obesity-related deaths in the U.S. back in 2010 were linked to the overconsumption of soda and other sugary drinks. In France, they have a warning label on food, much like we have warning labels here in this country on cigarettes. They put a warning label on processed foods. It says, warning, this food may be harmful to your health. While European countries require genetically modified foods to be labeled, in the U.S., the biotech industry and corporations like PepsiCo and Coca-Cola spent millions last year to defeat a California ballot initiative for GMO labeling. It's very difficult to get the right labeling standards um, onto the packaging. There's big pushback with um, the industrial food producers who do not want to label what really is going into our food supply. Whole Foods Market, a grocery chain with 339 stores, recently announced that it will begin labeling all GMO foods within the next five years. It will be the first and only U.S. retail store to require the food labeling. On the other hand, when it comes to soda, regulation is off limits. New York City Mayor Michael Bloomberg recently lost his fight to limit the uh, extra large serving sizes of sweet beverages in an effort to fight obesity.
and soda lovers like VP wannabe Sarah Palin have celebrated the fact that Americans can continue consuming an alarming amount of high fructose corn syrup and empty calories in one giant cup. Not sure if Ms. Palin knows about the medical warnings indicating that if the country's health trend continues at its current pace, nearly half of all Americans will be obese by 2030. Marina Portnaya, RT, New York. All right, I'm back. I hope you guys enjoyed that little clip. I, I think I, I actually liked it. I thought it was very informative. We got to the point. Obviously, they were talking about addiction. Some of the, some of the things I want to talk to you about is that, number one, again, they were talking about addiction. And they said one out of three people are obese. One out of three. I mean, <laughs> what are we talking about? Little infants? They just came out of the mommy's womb or overweight. I mean, most of the people in this country are overweight. I mean, going to the supermarkets. It's, I, mean, I mean, everyone, the majority of the people in this country that I see are overweight. I mean, I, I don't, it, it is absolutely crazy. And now it's all over the world because the fast foods are infiltrating all the other countries with their drama. 40% of the children are overweight. I've, I've said this before, 40% are overweight. What I want to know is who does not want to be a part of this? Do you want to be a part of it or you don't want to be a part of it? Do you want a quality of life? What, is, what kind of quality of life do you want? Most overweight people don't make it that long. They're going to get something. And if you're overweight, you are getting it. You have it now. You are basically on your way out. So you you the, you got to got to have some kind of a game plan. Food is a drug. It's a legal drug. And it, they, they you know they talked about um one lady talked about a laboratory. Basically they take your brain, they put it in a scan and they see what how they can light up your brain. And she talked about the concoction of sweet Fat and salty. That's basically the formula. One piece of the formula. So they take cheap bleach sugar, nasty fats, which a lot of people don't understand these fats. I, I posted something on the rendering plants and, they, and a lot of people were very upset about the rendering plant. And they, trust me, they don't throw anything away. And people just don't want to believe that. Because in the rendering plants, they separate the fat from the protein and they use the protein. And whether you want to believe it or not, they're using it in your products. And the fat that they're separating from those animals. If you don't like it, then do your own research. Because I have. She talks about, but the whole thing is, is there's, there's, she talks about the sugar, fat, and the salt there's also sand in that salt. They don't tell you about that. We'll hold do with, maybe we'll do a little bit on about the salts that they're putting in your food. There's one thing missing. They're putting addictive drug in there. So if they're experimenting on mice and they want to make them fat, they're putting the same drug in all our foods. It's just about in every food. And all over the world, everybody's trying to figure out why are we overweight? Why, why is everybody getting overweight? Obviously, it's not sugar, fat, and salt. It's something else. All right, let's talk about what that other thing is. There's a chemical, and most of you have heard of this substance called monosodium glutamate. Monosodium glutamate. See, the food companies are not actually after the monosodium. They don't care about that. They throw that away. They want the glutamates. Glutamate. And they put a large amounts of it in our foods. What do the glutamates do? The lady says they fool your brain. It's brain control. You think that the food tastes better than it does. I've said this in other videos. That's what you think. And you don't want to believe they're doing it. 
What do, we, what, do we, what do we have to say? Everyone's over. And that stuff controls the communications of your body, which your hormone. That's what's causing all this diabetes. That's what's going on. And if they're so arrogant, they put it in your foods and they list it in different names. And when people like myself tell you what's going on, they keep changing the name. They change the name of the glutamates. And a lot of it, they, na- they list it as natural flavor. Natural flavor. It's in everything. Natural flavor. It's in everything. That's how they get the glutamates. That's why you get, that's why you have blood sugar problems. No one can sleep. Digestive problems. Then they talked about this the marketing. They talked about, they said Beyonce sold, uh, uh, signed a deal with Pepsi. Pepsi or Coke, I don't, whatever, I don't remember which one it was. The majority of these athletes and entertainers are taking money from these food companies and endorse them because the food companies are paying them tens of millions of dollars to endorse the very same drama that's making you overweight and sick. And we go out and buy their albums or their, their CDs or whatever. That's what we do. They paid them a lot of money. We call them agents of chaos. They're working for the establishment. They're paid off. You don't like hearing that. Too bad. That's the deal. These food companies do not, as a matter of fact, you should boycott them. But you're not gonna, that's, that's way too far, boycotting people. We just love their music. I don't deal with any athletes, entertainers deal with these food companies. Don't deal with them. Then you, you, then you got this Sarah Palin, who obviously millions of people love. She's so ignorant, it's ridiculous, sitting there su- sucking on a Pepsi or Coke, whatever that she has. And they paid her to do that. And you want this person as your president? You got Trump. One of the teams was supposed to go to the, uh, the White House. He goes out and buys them fast foods. Trump. These people, the government is behind all this. It's how they make money. It's incredible what's going on. They don't care about you and they don't care about your kids. And you better have some alternatives because it's getting worse. And the majority of you know people with cancer. Because we just got a, we have a new channel we just started last week. It's called Cancer Cures TV. Cancer Cures D- TV. Cancer Cures, Cures, C-U-R-E-S, TV. It talks about all, these, all this cancer that's going on. Incredible. All caused by your food. Not all, because there's other things too. But the majority of it is caused by your food. And your water. And your cleaning products. And your beauty products. But obviously we're going to focus on food. All right? Anything else? One more thing. That was amazing. Is that the soda companies, there's no regulation. They're not regulated. Regulated by who? They don't regulate. They can do whatever they want. Go into supermarkets. And anything, anytime that you go in the supermarket, the majority of one side is the same product. That is crazy. When you go in the supermarket, you see soda aisle goes all the way down on, on your left hand side. And you go down and you see cereal. Cereals like tons of millions of cereals because they're making a lot of money. They're making a ton of money and it's not food. It is, it, it's not even close to food. All right. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that little short video. Want everybody to subscribe. And you can, and if you do not want to be a part of this drama, 
you go to fooddramatv.com, hit the button, download the, the program. It's a quick program, 20 pounds in 30 days. I'm not saying you're going to do that every month. And you download it. It's not a lot of money. I've been in the weight loss industry for years. They are raping people and not even telling us what I'm trying to tell you. They're in the game too. Weight Watchers sells processed foods. And your girl Oprah is involved with them. She's another agent of chaos. People don't like hearing that, too bad. It's the truth. I'm concerned about the people. I'm concerned about the children. The children. We're feeding the children this. So I'm going to keep pounding away. Keep listening. That's all I have today. Enjoy your blessings. I'm out.